Thank you so much. Let me have a person. I'm not I'm just filming um, exercises for um, For who? For an app. So I'll steal somebody's idea. You're fine. Have a good one. Mind if I watch my... Of all the things you could say, mind if I watch. How does that not sound creepy to you? You sound like a sex offender. Or oh, one in training. It's diabolical behavior, my boy. Whoa! We got one today. It's always gonna be one guy out there doing white people sh After this, I went through his whole... Instagram, I ain't even mad at him. I don't know where he grew up at. I doubt. I doubt he grew up around the There ain't no way. There's no way. The most adventurous shit we do is spare roaches. I mean, on pit bulls, I feel as though that's a little adventurous too, owning a pit bull. But if you see a roach and you just like, you know what, I don't feel like being bothered today. To me, that's some crocodile hunting shit. What I want to say, I'm not going to say. Because I don't want to get myself in trouble. But, Supergirl ain't never looked like that. <laughs> and I ain't mad. I gotta know exactly who you are. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. Oh we my God. Back to, bro, back to back. <laughs> Oh, man, not back to back. Y'all trying me. <laughs> Y'all folks trying me today. Um, her, 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 uh, I'm stuttering. Her stink face is crazy. I recently found out about this. Like, sometimes I be in the house with my wife, and she just be having that look. And I be like, yo, why are you looking like that? She be like, yo, I'm not mad, babe. This is just my resting face. What the f*** is a resting face? But I'm glad, I'm glad I learned this. Because... After learning this, I was able to decipher if a motherfucker is mad or if that's just a face. Like, some people just have naturally mean-looking faces. I feel as though she's one of them. She's probably the nicest person in the world, but her resting face is crazy. And she got them yams. Shout out to you, sis. What are things you do now that you feel like will make you a good wife? Give me that mic. Listen, I am a wife. Not actually, but I am a wife material. I will make my man my number one. I will push you to be the best you will ever be, no less. I will encourage you. I'll be your biggest supporter, your cheerleader, your teammate. We're right there together. We ain't doing nothing without each other, all right? And we're going to have a family, and we're going to raise those babies to be the best that they can be. And I'm going to love you till the day you die, and even when then, I'm going to love you till, till I die. That's my man. All right. I don't got one, but, but soon. I read the comment, somebody said she done turned it into a TED Talk. <laughs> Everything that she said makes sense. Crazy thing is, it was another young lady who answered that question, and she spoke about cooking. She said, I'll cook for my man. I love cooking for my man. And in the comment section, somebody was like, well, I can cook. What else you bring to the table? In this video, in the comment section, there was a guy asking, but can she cook? I think it's funny how not only women... But men are very nitpicky. No matter what you say, no matter what great answers you give, somebody's gonna find something to have a problem with. You can't please everybody. Hey, hey, hey. how much does a man have to make for you to take him serious, Yareli? A hundred K. A hundred K, more than me. That's a good question. What would you rate me on a scale from one to ten? Well, I can't see you with your glasses. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> a BMS. <laughs> I don't know what that. Broke my scale. Let's go on a date. I know. All right. Hey, <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't gonna lie. I, I kind of like it really better, so I'm not trying to play with you as much. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's really good question. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get with you. That's All right. Good question. Hey. Yo, time out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You gonna hit the man with you broke my skill? Then you gonna hit him with the I'm just kidding? And then you still wanna be on the man show? You still want him to ask you questions? Who do you think you are? 
what does poly wife happy life mean? I would like to have and be in a relationship with a man who wants polygamy. It's going to be opened on the man's side, but very close on my side. So he is capable of having more than one wife, and I am only to serve him in every shape, way, or form that he needs me to. I respect this man, I cater to him, and I do all the things that he needs me to do in order for him to continue to thrive in life. Hold on. This just came through swinging. She just came through swinging. God damn. I wasn't ready. Okay, I recharge his batteries a thousand percent of the time because I'm a woman. Things are very easy for me in this life. And so my uh, dynamic of a relationship, of a marriage, is I do want to be married to a man who does want to have more than one wife. I want my sister wife. I can't wait to... Be blessed with a man who sees this dynamic and respects it in the right way. Y'all boys need to go find her. The crazy thing is, you would have a woman like this. She's open to you bringing in another female in a relationship. So now you got a two-for-one special. Somewhere out there, it's a dude that'll still find a way to mess this situation up. Not, <laughs> not I, of course. Because if my wife even hint at me bringing some new pussy in the crib... That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now. We almost had 100K, man. Excuse me. Sorry. Are you two a couple? Yes. Would you mind telling us the story of how you first met? Number before you guys even met. It was bold. It was bold. What was your bold. first impression of her? I thought he was fine. He was a good. That's why I gave him my number. Because if he was ugly, he would have got my number. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about him? Everything. Do you laugh? You're real funny. His personality. Let's do our favorite thing about her. I just love her. I just love her. I don't know. To get married. Alexia. It just be so good to see young love, especially the, the way they met too. I wonder if that's his female cousin or his male cousin. I feel as though it gotta be his female cousin, cause if it was his male cousin, that means his male cousin was bringing that over there to crack, and he scooped it. I doubt it was his male cousin. If a guy's asking you for your number, this is exactly what you're gonna say to make sure that you don't get fucked up. If he asks you for your Instagram, just say, "Oh, I really don't use social media that much." And then he's going to ask you for your number. Be like, next time, next time. Then he's going to be like, what you mean next time? We're probably never going to see each other again. This is what you're going to say. That's how we know it's meant to be. If we see each other again, it's meant for me to give you my number. It works every fucking time, I promise you. Because now you done made it a game in his head, and now he got something to look forward to. But I'm going to tell you this. don't You can't never go back to that spot again. I don't care if it's your favorite place in the world. Never go there. I'm going to be honest with you. It's sad that you had to play these games instead of just simply telling somebody no. But I understand that it's a lot of emotionally unintelligent men walking around here that can't handle rejection. And by her simply saying no, I have a boyfriend, or no, I'm not interested, things can get ugly. So I, I do understand she trying to figure out ways to, you know, make the process a little less dangerous. But at the same time, it's a nigga out here that's going to be like, yo, you playing games with me. And the situation can still turn dangerous. All right. And Jadora, why did you end up popping your balloon? Dr. Elam, it's such a tragedy because you are so handsome. I feel like you are extremely arrogant. And I feel like you're probably going to have a hard time because you seem like the type, like a know-it-all type of guy. And sometimes you have to be careful with that because even when you know it all, you don't know everything. Mm. You know, so being humble sometimes can be your best friend, even if you do know it all, even if you're very smart, very wise, mm -hmm. you know, but just having a humble attitude, you know what I mean? 
you would probably go a lot further. Mm. And I say that with all the respect in the world. No, nah, don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Who's yeah. your dentist? <laughs> Who is my dentist? Not you, sweetheart. And I'm just going to leave it right there. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm not your dentist. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's, 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 let's go to our next person here. Hold on, on, hold on. First off, the way he walked off, the way he walked off, we cannot say that he's not crossing the street. He's crossing the street. He's jaywalking. He's definitely jaywalking. Why are you even on that show? Why are you on that show? What are you looking for? Based on how he responded, I feel as though her analysis of him is correct. She broke him down to a T. I already told you how I feel about these shows, man. These folks is crazy. 